Yo, what's poppin' Poke Pals? Rare Boy here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Gold Randomized Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we are gonna take on the Elite Four, which leads me to my question of the day, which is, who, if anyone, will be going down in this challenge? Because the Elite Four is a bit of a challenge. We're gonna do a bit of a quick team recap, because I know you guys saw the layout. You guys know that I did an off-camera uh, off grind session. It's going to be right here, bop, right there on the iCard. It's also going to be down in the description if you want to check out the unlisted playlist of where I do all my training montages. So, let's do a quick team recap because I did wind up getting some TMs from the Goldenrod department store. We are starting off with Leela, the beautiful Rapidash. She is holding a charcoal to boost up her Ember because it is a fairly weak fire type move, but it's the only fire type move she has. She also has Stomp, Super Fang that I taught her via TM, and High Jump Kick, also taught by TM. We got Mom the Crobat that knows Fly, Hypnosis, Rock Slide, and Earthquake. All TM moves aside from Fly. We got Zoidbird the Octillery. He's got Surf, Crunch, Counter, and Focus Energy. Personally, I think he's the weakest link. And personally, I think he's going to be the one to go down. If anybody goes down, I'm hoping not to, you know, let anybody faint this gameplay. We got Kif, our shiny Gyarados, which was now a shiny Mr. Mime. It has Psybeam, Hypnosis, Nightmare, and Pain Split. I taught all those moves via TM, aside from Psybeam. So his gimmick is kind of like he puts people to sleep. He nightmares them, and whatever HP he has left, he can Pain Split the next Pokemon coming in. Especially if he's taken a lot of damage from the previous Pokemon. We got Fry, our starter Pokemon, who has Surf, Milk Drink, Thunder Punch, and Thunder Wave. And last but not least, we have our Ho-Oh encounter, Zuzu the Tyranitar, who knows Thrash, Waterfall, Rock Slide, and Shadow Ball. And I think we're going to start things off with my girl Zuzu. Now before we go in, I do have to pick up a few potions. Let's, put, uh, let's get like four full heals. Not that many. Uh, we'll get 12 full restores and then blow the rest on max potions. Now, I don't know what is going on with... Oh, hold on. Let me turn my, my battle effects on because I turned them off for the training montage. I don't know what is going on with my laptop. I tried reconnecting my remote after charging it and it still won't connect. So I don't know what that's about. So... I'm using the clickety-clack of the keyboard. I hope you guys don't mind. And I'm not going to be doing a lot of commentating about myself in this episode. I know you guys like to hear about what, what's going on in my life. It helps with the gameplay. You know, it helps it go by faster. But I think I'm just going to commentate more so on the, the Elite Four itself. Because I do have to concentrate here. It is important that I don't, you know, misclick anything or mess up. Because it's important that... I pay attention to the gameplay and what's going on, so I don't risk losing a mon. And look at that, the quick claw kicking in right there. So, how was everybody's day? Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Hope you guys are all pumped and hyped for this video coming out right now. Um, I do have the thumbnail already made. Ooh, sending in his own Tyranitar. Uh, let's go with Zoidberg. I do have the thumbnail already made for this episode, but I think I'm going to change it because I'm I'm not too keen on it. Like, usually when I do like an Elite Four kind of thumbnail, I kind of like like to show like the team to be like, yo, are we going to do it? This is it. You know, come watch. This is the big the big battle. This is what we've been training for the, our, our, whole ser our whole series. And right now, the thumbnail I, I have right now is just the... The promo art that they did for Pokemon Masters, where it was, they did like all the Johto gym leaders and the Elite Four, and they did like a little promo of it. So that's the photo I have right now, where it's the the Elite Four members from the promo. And wow, this Togetic just tanked that. Hopefully the recoil's enough. No, not quite. But yeah, that is how I have the thumbnail set up right now. I may or may not change it. You guys will see, obviously, by the time this video goes up, if I changed it or not. And your boy is actually kind of hungry. Like, I had lunch kind of kind of late today. Ooh, Dragonite. Mm. I do want to send in Zuzu because he has Rock Slide. 
So we're going to send her in. She's got rock slides. The only thing I have against this thing. Mom also has rock slide, but I don't think she could take a hit from a Dragonite as easily. Well, I mean, if he's doing Dragon Rage, then yeah, it's fine. Rock Slide is such a long animation in this game. When we get to Gen 5, my favorite generation, by the way, that's when the gameplay is going to be going to be quick because, you know, Gen 5 is a much faster engine. It just runs a lot, a lot quicker. But Gen 2, Gen 1, those all are, they're all kind of slow outside of, like, walking around. And Arcanine. All right, so Will was not, that difficult, thankfully. I know it's going to get very difficult come, like, come Lance, because he has, like, high 40s, 50 level Pokemon. So, that's when it's going to be an issue. And people sending me a uh, Snapchat friend request. Go away. I'm recording right now. Don't you know? So, for those of you who are just tuning in, or for those of you who don't remember, if we beat the Elite Four today, then Gen 3 is secured because if I lose to Red, it does not count as me losing the lock. So, with that said, if we get through today, oh, I should use the full restore. If we get through today, which I'm hoping we will, we will go to the Kanto region. We'll take on all the, the Kanto gym leaders. We'll take on Red. And should we lose to Red? I don't think we will because I think this team is phenomenal. I think this team's going to make it all the way. But should we, we lose to Red, it doesn't count as a loss to the lock. So if we get through the Elite Four today, I'm thinking the next episode we take on the SSN. And then I set myself up for another Boss Rush episode. So how that's going to work is I'm thinking I'm going to do... The seven gym leaders from Brock all the way up to Blaine. And then blue and red are going to be their own episode. So, oh shoot, I misclicked. So how that's going to work is I'm going to take on blue at whatever level I'm at. It doesn't matter if I'm under leveled or not. And then, you know, for more of a challenge. And then once we beat blue, I'm going to cut it when we get to Mount Silver. I'm going to do a training montage off camera. Of course, that'll be in the unlisted playlist like all my other training montages are, so you guys know that I'm not cheating. And then once we get to to an appropriate level for Red, I will come back, and that's when we will take on Red. He is sending in an Ampharos. Uh, Mom has Earthquake, but she's also a flying type. So we're going to go Zuzu on this one. So that's how I plan to do the Kanto region. I am going to change the layout again. Um... I won't change the Ho-Oh in the background, of course, because we are still playing gold version. But I'm going to change the badges on the bottom to match the, the Kanto badges. If you guys haven't noticed, I actually used the... Oh, nice flinch. I used the, the badges from Pokemon Stadium 2 for the layout, which I think was really cool. Really neat idea. Instead of just using the, the plain old badges that they have in the game. Because I think they're nicer looking in, in the Stadium game. Nice. Ampharos is down. And who is he sending in as his... Oh, he's got two more. I thought he... this was the last one. All right, Pillow Swine. Uh, Zoidberg could take his Pillow Swine. Speaking of Zoidberg and the rest of the Futurama cast, I don't know like what the naming scheme is going to be come Gen 3 when we get to Ruby. Um, I haven't thought about it yet. So if you guys want to leave me suggestions in the comment section down below, we can name them after colors, name them after TV shows, uh, whatever you guys are, are thinking. And also, I am still in the market for a new laptop because, oh, Slow King, I thought this thing said Sea King. But wait, I versed the Sea King before. All right, that was me misreading. I am still in the market for a a new laptop because this one is oh my goodness it's it's horrendous I don't know what's going on with the Bluetooth with it like I said before my laptop is just not connecting to my remote and I even tried a different remote because I bought a new remote it's a it's a pro controller for the switch but it's like 
It's got a Pikachu on it. I posted on my Twitter like a couple weeks ago. I've been playing my Switch with it, obviously, but I want to try and play Pokemon on my laptop with it. But I, I seriously need a new laptop. So if you guys want to recommend me, even if you just want to recommend me a brand, all I need is for it to do some some editing and emulator playing. That That's it. And, and streaming, of course, because I do want to get into streaming, but I cannot stream with this laptop. This one is just not powerful enough. So that is why the streaming has not happened yet. I apologize. You know what? I'm going to put mom in the front because she has not done anything yet. And I really want her to, to contribute. I want everybody to contribute. So I feel like Kiff is going to have his day here because psychic types are always prominent. So let's take on Bruno. Wait, who, who's got a status condition? Oh, Skarmory. Really? That, was, that wasn't great. You know what? We'll get Leela her first. Her first mod. I just realized I haven't used Leela yet, and look at that! This is the first time you guys are seeing Leela as a Rapidash. So, I was super hyped when she evolved, I was so happy. I've been waiting for this all, the whole series to see her evolve. And really, Bruno, you're gonna be this guy? <sighs> Alright, speed up a little bit. Thank you. Oh my lord. People who use uh, evasion and accuracy moves, yeah. You're the worst. You're the absolute worst. So we're going to switch out to get rid of those accuracy drops. And you know what? Let's send in Mom. Let's rock slide this Murkrow. See if it goes down in one shot. No. Really? All right. We're going to fly. Very nice. Very nice. I always think it's funny when the the trainers randomize into all right let's send in kiff here i think kiff can take out a a fellow psychic type very nice very nice we land the hypnosis and this is why i taught kiff a uh, nightmare because of hypnosis so now we do this and now you my friend are in trouble so within four or five turns this hypno will be gone do a couple side beams for some extra damage. Hopefully we can get the confusion. Wow, that did nothing. Okay, still asleep. Very good, very good. Sleep is like still busted in Generation 2. Not as busted as it was in Gen 1, if you guys remember. But it is certainly busted in Gen 2. Good, still asleep, still asleep. Oh man, I can't wait to eat something after this episode. I'm starving. I don't know if you guys can hear my stomach rumbling, but I'm, like, starving. Granted, I probably should have ate before I started recording, but I just want to get this video recorded because... Oh, right, we can stay with, with uh, Kif. Because it is right now a quarter to four at the time that I am recording this. I'm, like, fresh out of work. So, I want to have this thing recorded and up to you guys by tonight. Ooh, thrash. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay. That's not too bad. So you guys can watch the finale tonight. Because yesterday, I did get us to the Elite Four. And I told you guys I'm going to do some grinding. I did some grinding at like 9 o'clock last night. At like super high speed. Again, it's recorded. You guys can check it out. And uh, I was like, well, I don't want to leave them hanging like a couple days. I want to, I want to put this out there. Which is, again, why I don't have a lot to talk about myself today. Which is why I'm kind of just like doing like general topics, general discussion for you guys. Oh, and then I tried to record this episode before and the damn emulator froze. So again, laptop issues. So again, if you guys have any suggestions on laptops for me to, to buy, even if they are just the brand names, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Who is in the front here? Okay, we got mom in the front. Good. And my budget for the laptop, I'm not looking to spend like more than 800. Like 800 is like my max, my cap. So it's just something cheap, something, something to, to record and and do emulators on. I've been working on some scripts to record and edit for you guys, so I got that going on. I just wrote a script for. Um, Fun facts on baby Pokemon. 
I also have the fun fact video for Gen 5 I completed. I have to I have to edit that. I finished my can you can you beat fire red with only a wishy-washy? That's a video that I've been working on. Um, I finished that. I'm not gonna say if I if I was successful or not, because you know I want you guys to to watch it. But uh, all I'm gonna say it, it was uh, one of, if not the most interesting videos you will probably see if and when I ever finish, um, you know, finish editing it. All right, let's do the old hypnosis and nightmare. Ooh, misclick. Oh wow, that misclick actually worked out in my favor. Nice. Lantern does have a lot of HP, so that's why it worked out for me. Yeah, I knew he was going to survive that, but the Nightmare takes care of you. I don't have, like, really anything, like, for Pokemon that are weak against grass types, so that's a bit of an issue. I mean, I would have sent in Mom with the Earthquake, but it is an electric type. Arbok, we could take that on. And that's another reason why I gave Kif the, the Bright Powder, because... <laughs> If he's going to be, you know, doing this whole setup of hypnosis and nightmare and all that other good stuff, he's got to be able to avoid attacks, you know, to set himself up. Please hit yourself. Nope. Really? Between... Wow. Okay. This Arbok is just the luckiest thing in the world right now. Okay. Between the Bright Powder and the Gen 2 glitch of Trainer's Pokemon, you know, not afflicting you with status as easily, he still got past everything. Okay, Clefable, 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 mm, Leela. Leela's got high jump kicks. She could take care of a Clefable. Thankfully, she's not a fairy type in this game, so. And we miss. And you miss. I don't know what you what you used because I was going too quick. I gotta relax with the speed up button. Very nice, very nice. No, don't do that. Okay, that's a dead Clefable. Like, I know that the, the Nuzlocke rules are, like, for the, the player, but imagine, like, in an, if you're doing a Nuzlocke like I am, and the, the trainer Pokemon are also Nuzlocked, then you just kill your opponent's Pokemon. Alright, let's go for Surf. Hopefully this does a lot. Ooh, that does half. Nice. Okay, Earthquake. Don't like that. How much is that going to do? Ooh, that does a hefty amount. <gasps> Max Potion. Oh, Quagsire is her ace. I see. I see, I see. I see hot. Now, it might have been a high roll. Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay. Good. So this should take out Quagsire, unless we get a low roll. Don't get a low roll. Don't get a low roll. Nice. Oof. That Quaxar was, uh, was scary. Could have easily taken me out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, all that's left is Lance. And then we will finish yet another generation. And then, of course, like I said, Gen 1 is just going to be like Generation 2.5 for you guys. It doesn't count towards the lock. So if we lose over there, it's okay. Make sure everybody's healed up. And let's go. This is going to be, you know, a fairly short episode once we beat Lance. Hopefully if we beat Lance. I mean, I'm confident we'll beat Lance. Have you seen our team? It's good. Okay, why are there... Why were my silhouettes black? Who, who, are they paralyzed? Oh, they are paralyzed. I keep forgetting to check if they're paralyzed. All right, I'm going to put this thing to sleep. No, or not. <gasps> I don't like that. Put him to sleep, please. Thank you. Okay, let's see how much an earthquake. I don't like this thing at all. Thunder punch. Yeah, you missed that. I said this was going to be the hard part. Because now the levels are higher than us. Who's next? Porygon 2. Porygon 2. Let's go with Leela. 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 
Let's see how much a high jump kick does. I mean, Porygon 2 is fairly bulky. But high jump kick is the strongest fighting type move. At least it is now. I don't know about back then. Defense curl. Mm, this should still kill. Oh, just under. Zap cannon. I don't like that. Finish with an ember. And this is it. We're almost done. We got four left. Politoed. Oh, that's an easy kill for Fry. And I made sure that I got everybody in at least one match. I mean, Mom didn't do a lot, but she was in there. She she battled. <gasps> Perish Song. Okay, so now I'm definitely going to have to switch out. How much is this going to do? Polytoe's pretty fat. Yeah, Polytoe's a fat boy. Ooh, Paralyzed. Nice. Perish Song's down to three. You're gone. Before things get... You know, scary around here. Level 44. We have three left. Clefable. Okay, we're going back into Leela. High jump kick. Wow, over half. Double slap. Alright, I could take those. That's an easy kill. Alright, what's left? What's left? Please don't let it be something crazy. Like a ho -ho or something. It is a crowbat. Okay. Let's have... Oh, Kif is paralyzed, but you know what? I think Kif can do it. Okay, I don't think Kif can do it. <laughs> Come on, Kif. Come on, Kif. Nice. One more of those and we're out of here. Give me one more. Wing attack, how much is this going to do? Sheesh! Let's go, Kif! And now the ace. The ace Ventura. It is... Cloister? That's your ace in the hole? That's an easy one shot for Fry. Let's go, baby, let's go. Oh, he has speeds. Really? I mean, Afro's is slow, but I didn't think he was slower than a giant oyster. Pearls, 100 feet in the air. That's a SpongeBob reference. With Clamu. Right? That was her name, Clamu. I think it was. Oh, no, please don't start doing this. No, 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 we're not losing Fry. That is a no-go. My attack fell. That's okay. I'm atta Let's go. This should be a one-shot. <gasps> Woo! Don't think the crit mattered. Ladies and gentlemen, we have successfully completed Pokemon Go! Let's go! Get through all this talking. Professor Roke, register me. Let's go! Yeah, yeah, you're talking too much. Let's see the beautiful team. Ladies and gentlemen, clap it up for your boy! We got the Hall of Famers, Mom the Crobat. We got Zuzu the Tyranitar. We got Zoidberg, the Octillery. And we also got a shiny Mr. Mime, Kif, our boy. We got our beautiful starter. Look at that cute little face, Ampharos, a.k.a. Fry. And last but not least, our full-on shiny Rapidash, a.k.a. Leela. And we got your boy, Rare Boy, with a total playtime of 29 hours and 35 a minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, as the credits roll, I want to thank you all so much again for watching and sticking around for this, this entire series. You know, I couldn't have done it without your support, your likes, your comments. Thank you all again so much. And I'm going to see you guys in the next episode when we take on the Kanto region. Blue and red.
Peace. Red, white, and blue, yeah, I love this place.